This tournament tip of the week focuses on making adjustments to your strategy when you're in competition. In competition, we go for the shots that we're the most comfortable with and we go for the shots that we like. But when do you identify when that shot is not being effective and make a change so that you can gain the tactical advantage? And before we talk about strategy, you have to implement a concept that allows you to maneuver through the match and that's gonna be charting the table. And if your opponent is in the forehand, there's five positions that you can play. And position one is right in the forehand. Position two is gonna be outside the power pocket of this line. Position three is gonna be inside the power pocket and you're gonna be aiming for the hip or the elbow. Position four is right back to the backhand. And position five is gonna be outside the power pocket. And from the backhands, position one is directly in the backhand. Position two is gonna be outside the power pocket. Position three is still gonna be the hip and the elbow. Position four is right in the power pocket. And position five is outside the power pocket. And the best positions to play is gonna be positions two three and five from the forehand and also positions two three and five from the back end and the reason that these are the best positions is because your opponent has to make a movement before taking action to the ball. If I'm standing in the forehand and the ball is played from position one and position four, I don't have to make a movement, I just have to make a stroke. But for positions two, three, and five, I have to make a body movement. This is the formula to have that will help you identify whether or not your shots will have a maximum impact when you're in competition. And the reason it's important to have this formula is I went into the national championships with my normal strategy of attacking hard into my opponent's forehand. And let's see how that went. Now, going hard into my opponent's forehand is not only something they can do very well, he was expecting it. And that's something that I don't see very often, and I lost the first game as a result of not making an adjustment sooner. The reason I kept making my attack shots right into my opponent's forehand is I wanted to test the waters to find out if he was making lucky shots or if he does have a good counter loop. Well, after losing the first point of game two, looping a ball to his forehand and he made another counter loop, I realized, in fact, he does have a good counter loop and it's a part of his normal shot selection. Inside the concept of charting the table, the correct adjustment for me to make is to start placing my attacks outside the power pocket. or inside the power pocket. These were the micro adjustments I needed to make to gain a tactical advantage in the match. And I can't say I would have been successful had I just kept attacking to position one. And that's what you have to understand. And the difference between playing with your shots and competing with your shots. Take these tips, work on them, and they'll help you play and compete better. Yeah. My name is Brian Pace, and I'll see you on the table.